Uh, Matthew Breyer. Hi, my name is Samuel Jordan, and our partner Jake is unfortunately unable to be here due to a family emergency. Uh, our product we're going to talk about today is the Spud Wrench. Since I was about nine years old, I've been working with my father and my grandfather. Uh, my father being a master plumber, and my grandfather having been doing plumbing since before you needed a license to do it. Uh, a little bit ago, maybe about two years ago, we invented this tool. It's called the spud wrench. And what it does is it tightens spuds on the toilet so that flush valves can go on more efficiently. It turns a minute job, or a couple minute job, into a couple second job. Uh, basically insert it, turn counterclockwise, and done, as compared to doing it with wrenches, which is the prior way of doing it. Um, what sets us apart, aside from our value proposition, which is saving professionals time and money, is that we have a provisional patent, which we hope to get patented, and then we'll have um, what is pending on us going forward is manufacturing and distribution over here. Um, our value proposition, once again, is that we're going to save professionals time and money as they'll be able to do a task that took a minute and some time in under 30 seconds, and it'll be a safer alternative. And these things require no prior training or knowledge to use. They could just jump right in and be able to use them. Um, one of our key partnerships will be the University of Baltimore, where we currently attend, because we believe they will, they've already pointed us in um, one other partnership, which is OpenWorks, which will help us uh, design our product and set it to market. And we believe they have other opportunities with that. Uh, some of our key activities include manufacturing, quality control, and distribution. Because we're a new product, we like to have a good name out there. So getting our product out and you know getting it out nice and efficiently is something we'd like to strive for. And we believe that the people who will be using this tool will find it very important to have a solid structural tool, which we will have. Uh, so manufacturing. So these metal ones I actually made, they're done with an angle grinder. Uh, there's two sizes of these. Uh, for today, we actually also brought in an injection molded version which is done uh, using an injection molding machine and costs about 35 cents to produce. Uh, in the future, we're looking at 3D printing to fabricate. Uh, we talked to OpenWorks about using their spaces and machines for production. Uh, one, our key resource, as we mentioned earlier, is the intellectual property. In addition to that, we have a great team of individuals, me, myself, Jake, and then also Matt, and then we have the Center for Entrepreneurship, which is, sets us apart, we think. Uh, distribution channels. So we're looking at personal sales to local plumbers and smaller institutions at first. Um, we want to start off looking at large institutions like hospitals, uh, stadiums, universities, things like that because that's where this part is going to be used the most because that's where the, uh, the part that's going to be replaced is broken the most. And eventually we look at distribution through larger commercial retailers like Home Depot, Lowe's, Ferguson, and all the other larger plumbing distributors. Customer relationships, we believe, is going to be important um, to be personalized and to because in order to get out there as a small company, we're not going to be able to spend a lot of money on advertisements. We're going to be focused on going to door to door to different companies and um, having a really personalized, attentive, listening to what they need and um, working with them based off that. Uh, for revenue streams, uh, it's a universal tool. It comes in multiple sizes, and we're also looking at uh, selling the rubber seals in comparison with them. Uh, and for future development, we've looked at uh, one tool with multiple heads and also a plastic version, uh, either 3D printed or injection molded. So yeah, we'll have multiple sizes, we'll have a universal tool eventually, and then we'll also sell the replacement part. Uh, in the Johns Hopkins study, about a year ago, I gave away 35 spud wrenches to Johns Hopkins uh, facilities people. Basically, you know, plumbers, maintenance men, the, the such. And out of all 35 I gave out, I didn't really get a single bad review. Uh, Johnny Velocco is one of the plumbers there, actually gave me a review saying that he uses it 20 or more times a week, so that's pretty good. Which brings us to our point, is it feasible? Um, first we need to see, is it going to be used? Yes, we found out from this Hopkins study, yes, people will use it and they value it and it saves them time and money. However, as we were doing further research, we realized there was more competition than we thought, in fact, that we ever knew of. When Matt first thought of the idea two years ago, he looked and didn't find any competition. It seems in the last year or two, multiple options have uh, emerged, one being a universal tool for under 15 that, uh, frankly, is going to be hard to compete with, and then a more official one that you can even adapt to a power tool. So We just couldn't enter in at a low enough price point to actually make this idea feasible, even with uh, proprietary technology.
So ultimately, no, we don't believe it's feasible because there's other companies out there with economies of scale that just have more experience. Thank you for your time. Thank you.